Now we will talk about a D flip flop IC that is 7474. This is again a 7400 uh, series uh, circuit and it's a D flip flop. And this is the way how we, how we, how we show uh, our D flip flop usually. And this is what the 7474 is actually. We have the data input, the clock is active high. That means that this is the leading edge. Leading edge clocked flip flop and it has clear and preset so bo they both are enabled with a low signal so when they are zero they are enabled so this is our uh, regular D flip flop so and now let me show you how it looks like in a data sheet so this is all exactly the same thing but it looks a little bit complicated so let's look at uh, our uh, inputs so this is our D input here and the D is right here but as you see there is not just one but two it says 1D and 2D that means there are two D flip-flop in this integrated circuit not just one but two and what you see here uh, some numbers and these are your pin numbers that means physically which number of the pin in the location corresponds to that that input so if you want to connect something to the input of the D flip flop of first one then you need to go to number two so and the same thing with the uh, with the clock so this is your clock signal here and the clock as you see it says CP so this is your clock the reason it says P that's because it's positive which means it from 0 to 1 that means it's positive and it's a leading edge that's what it means and there's no bubble here and if you look at your preset and reset signals the clear signals they are also here this is your set and this is your reset the reason they put a bar on top of it here uh, or that's the same idea of like a bubble so that means they are uh, activated with a low signal and same as here and you have your outputs at the same time so also how it looks in terms of physical this is this is the same thing what we have here is that same number C is a 2 12 and you see 2 is your input and 12 is the input for the second D flip flop so this is the first flip flops input first flip flops clock first flip flops Q output so this part is mostly for the flip flop one and this is the second flip flop and we also have the power and ground signals that you always have to connect if you don't connect the, the circuit doesn't work so let me talk to you briefly if you have a circuit like this this is a shift register how you would make your connections I'm, gonna, I'm not going to show you all of them it's going to get a little bit uh, crowded but let me show you at least the clock so this is the first flip flop and this is the second flip flop and they looks like the clocks are connected that means clock I'm looking for CP this one is gonna be connected to this one so these two pins will be connected together and that is gonna be your clock let me show you one more connection that is this one first flip flops output to the second flip flops input 
so the first Philip Phillips output is this one and the second Philips, Philip, Philip, Philip Phillips input is this one so they are going to be connected and that's how you're gonna continue with the preset and the clear so you can you can make your whole shift register circuit this way 